So this, this is became one doing. of the lead stories overnight that now Trump and his thugs are threatening the whistleblower. Well, apparently this was fake news. It turns out that the lawyers for the whistleblower had merely asked Joseph McGuire, the, the acting director of national intelligence, just for appropriate resources to ensure their client's safety. In other words... They were asking questions such as, well, if he does testify, what kind of security protocols will be in place just because, 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 because this is such a crazy story. That's it. He wasn't actually under federal protection. But everybody ran with this story this morning because, you know what, it it boosts the narrative that Trump is dangerous and might even kill anyone who's in his way. That's how they played this story this morning and last night. Well, it's it's a it's a, a long line of fake stories. It's like the in fact, if you go to the end of this uh, New York Post story, it just goes through the stuff of the last few weeks. Uh, the New York Times, the fake story against uh, Judge Kavanaugh. Uh, MSNBC, remember, had a fake story about uh, Trump uh, with having financial arrangements with Russian oligarchs. Uh, BuzzFeed had a fake story about Trump demanding perjury. Uh, ABC had a fake story about Trump ordering a subordinate to make contact with the Kremlin during the campaign. They have all put these out in breathless exclusives. They've all turned out to be fake. And again, I ask you, why does anybody pay attention to this anymore? This is the crowd that not only brought you the fake Russian hoax story for two years, but they're, they're, they're pretending to be aghast that Trump asked the Ukrainian president to investigate Biden. Hillary Clinton paid for a British agent to contact his Russian sources in order to take out Trump as president. Hillary Clinton paid campaign cash for that. What What's the difference here? This is what they all do. Well, that's why, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm getting dirt on I'm, your opponents. Is I, as old well, as but I'm old. not going to sit here and go, oh, my God, this is horrible. It's like, stop it. I'm just I don't want to listen to any of this. This is nonsense from crazy people. I don't believe any normal person is offended by any of this because this is this is this is the dirty, disgusting political climate that's been around our entire lives. Uh, early this morning, Trump sent out a tweet. Representative Adam Schiff illegally made up a fake and terrible statement, pretended it to be mine as the most important part of my call to the Ukrainian president, read it aloud to Congress and the American people. It bore no relationship to what I said on the call. Arrest for treason? Question mark. Which is great. But of course, the media ran with this. Oh, my God. Trump is now calling for the arrest of Adam Schiff. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Well, see, I, when, you hate, when you don't like somebody, you, you want to sink them for any reason, right? Schiff didn't commit treason. But if they arrested him for treason, I would think that's funny. Because I yeah. think he's such an a irritating weasel. And Trump's the this kind is, of guy that's just, oh, I'm just throwing it out I, there. You know I, Stop I, taking me so I, literally. These people have no effect on my life. They do. What do I honestly? Part of me, I don't care about Adam Schiff. I don't care about any of this stuff. I just don't care. Why, why should I care? Make the case why I'm supposed to care about this. Trump also tweeted a conservative pastor's comment that impeaching okay. the president would provoke a civil war like fracture. And, and this also led to some pearl gasping, grasping. <laughs> civil war. And then there's Robert De Niro. We're going to play you this audio from CNN over the weekend. He's on some show with Brian Stetler. Oh, that guy's a... Yeah, I don't know him, but you were saying to me... I never watch any of this, but I have seen read about of him. Yeah. He's he's a self-important, sleazy windbag. I mean, he's just a, a dope. He's breathlessly bashing Trump all day. It's, it's just an idiot. He's not very bright. And who would care what Robert De Niro thinks anyway? But, of course, I, I, what, in this world of celebrity culture. In my, in my lifetime, if you ask me, like, what are the worst talk show guests you ever saw? Robert De Niro would be at the top of the list. He is the biggest bore when interviewed on a talk show, when he talks about himself or his acting career. And, and suddenly he found some personality. He goes on TV and starts cursing about Trump. I mean, what a, what a bizarre guy. He's cursed before. Apparently, he also Ooh, cursed, cursed at the Tony Awards. Uh, all right, so let's listen to the clip on CNN. I, I don't think he's capable of resigning. Uh, he just well, Bill Maher a couple of weeks ago said that he it's going to be difficult getting him out of the White House, especially if the, he wins uh, marginally. 
if he loses marginally. Um, Do you have that fear as well, that he I, wouldn't I, leave? Yeah, he'll say it's rigged or this or that. He'll find some. This guy has done everything possible, much worse than I ever thought, ever. I, the day after he was elected, I said, well, you know, give him a chance. You never know. You'll see. But he is the he's be worse than I ever could have imagined. I wonder, as an actor, do you ever look at the president and think he's performing like he's playing or an act or something? In, in some ways, I, I think he is. But I think that it's uh, as I think some of these other pundits uh, on Fox are, too. Um, because I can't believe that they they would actually buy into this craziness. Mm. This guy is should not be president, period. And when you say that, folks on Fox come after you. I remember the Tonys when he got up there and cursed. A lot of Fuck criticism em. of you. Fuck him. Okay, well, you know, this is cable, Sorry. so it's not an FCC violation, Sorry. but it is still a Sunday morning. Well, I we're, do wonder we're why you choose to go that let way. Let me say something. Why do you we choose are to go a, that We way? are at a moment in our life in this country, where this guy oh, is like up. a gangster. He's come shut along. Shut up, he's would you? Said things, done things. We say over to, to, and over stop again. Stop this! Stop this! This is this is this is stupid. <laughs> I love the way the people in the back row, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Like a little alarm went off. How's that with your breakfast? Well, we can say this on cable, but really. Oh, so right, we, got, we got uh, we got the great economy, low, very low unemployment, and uh, no wars going on. What else you want? We need a sideshow. That's all you want. Just see impeachment he sideshow. Goes, he's, he's, worse, he's worse than he ever could have imagined. Said, what, what's going on? What's going on? He tweets. So what? Yeah, don't read them. Worked up by everything he says. I said that to somebody the other day. I said, why don't you just not read them? And they looked at me funny. What do you mean? I said, don't, don't read them. What do you care? All right. When we come back, uh, we'll tell you what the poll reveals, which is that people are kind of all over the place on this nonsense. Uh, that and more coming. John up. and Ken show KFI. KFI. 